This is Micah 2 and 1, and it reads, Woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. And they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. I want to give all glory and honor and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahaka, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. Now I got this article talking about the the tribes, you know. Israelites, it says Supreme Court wrestles with Navajo Nation water rights dispute. Okay, so basically, back in the day, whenever Whitey came over here <clears throat> and stole the land from the Indians, they gave them different reservations and they gave them different deeds that they, they never really followed. And this is just one of those situations where you know, they gave them land. They stole their land, but they gave them a piece of it to live on without good water. You know what I'm saying? And these things are coming up these days. It says the justices heard arguments on whether the Navajo lawsuit claiming the federal government has a duty to address the tribe's water rights can move forward. Okay. And I'm not going to play the video because it goes in different ways. But basically... Just like the scripture just said, <clears throat> Micah 2 and 2, it says, And they covet fields. They, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, they covet fields, and they take them by violence. They came over here and stole the land by violence, stole the land, killed up millions and millions of Indians, men, women, and children. Okay, put smallpox on their blankets to take, take them out different ways they took them out wars that raged on for years and years because this devil came over to this land and then this devil took us from west africa in places that we'd fled took us and brung us over here to america to oppress us and our brethren of the ten tribes. It says, and they covet fields and take them by violence. Esau Edom, the damn devil that the Bible speaks of, and houses and take them away so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Let's get this word heritage and his heritage down here. Strong's H5159 says, Knock, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, it says possession, property, inheritance, heritage. Okay? Their property, their way of life, their inheritance, their heritage. Okay, their heritage, man. Let's define heritage. It says, property that is or may be inherited in inheritance, a special or individual possession, an allotted portion, inheritance, birthright, patrimony, legacy, religion, endowment, estate, okay? So ever since... The beginning of Esau Edom, they've been oppressing us, man. It was not it Esau that said, once my father is dead, then I will kill my brother Jacob? So ever since then, they've been trying to kill us. They've been trying to take us out, man. Around every corner that you go, portion property. So they oppress, oppress 
to press upon, oppress, violate, defraud, do violence, and what they do to the Native American Indians, man. The tribe of Gad. <clears throat> what they do to Gad. Okay. What they do to the uh, so-called Latinos that was over here in those days. Did not they have plenty of wars with them? Going to war with not only the Indians, but the Native, the, 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 you know, Ephraim, Man they went to war with all of us, Manasseh, they went to war just to steal our land and oppress our people, put us underneath, on the very bottom, have us work for them, still to this day, to oppress wrong, to oppress Deceitful, gotten, oppression, wrong, deceived, yeah, deceived. That's the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. These damn crackers sit down at the table with the Indians and call it Thanksgiving. You know, they showed them all types of things, how to brush their teeth, how to survive during winter. Survive during the hot summer days. And then what they go and do? Murder them. So we're back at this article. It says Supreme Court wrestles with Navajo Nation's water rights dispute. There should be no dispute over water, man. <laughs> and, th and that's the thing about this devil who runs the world. Esau, Edom, this damn devil who runs the world that we're living in it says the supreme court appeared closely divided on monday as it grappled with the rather to allow the navajo nation to pursue the claim that the federal government has a duty to address the native american tribes water rights during the almost two hour oral argument slush slakia slakia it appeared a majority of the nine justice courts could allow the tribe's claim to move forward in a limited form, with much depending on the vote of conservative Justice Amy Coney Barrett. It says the case touches upon complex array of arguments in the court's decisions that over decades have dictated how the water of the Colorado River divided into upper and lower sections is allocated among the states. Okay, why they got to allocate water? Okay, because they doing all types of things to the water. They messing up the atmosphere, messing up the climate. Talk about climate change. No, you guys had a chance to make uh, cars that took like this hemp product instead of cars that took oil and all these things like that. You guys had all those chances, but you wanted to deal with your money. You wanted money. You wanted money. You don't want to deal with natural things. Just like, you know, they got all these hospitals and all these things and giving medicines and, you know, no, no, no. The Lord made medicine out the earth. There's plenty of medicine in the earth in which the Indians had the cures to different things. Saved a bunch of you, bunch of you crackers lives probably, man. <laughs> And what'd you do? Go and take their lands away and, and separate them into reservations. Okay? Put them on different reservations, reserved pieces of land that's allocated to them that you don't even put water on. You ain't no creek or, or uh, lake or anything on. That's what you do. You make them sign deeds and you go in there and rape, rob, and murder them anyway through the army. It says the tribe, citing years of mistreatment, wants rights to water in the lower Colorado River that flows along the Navajo Reservation's northern border. So it flows right on their border, but they can't have any of it. The tribe's land, the largest nat Native American reservation, is mostly in Arizona, but also crosses into New Mexico and Utah. So this is a huge land that the United States government won't allow these people's who they stole the land from to even access the water to. The court 
which has a six and three conservative majority, yeah, I bet, heard two consolidated appeals, one brought by the federal government and another by the states of Arizona, Nevada, and Colorado, in addition to several Colorado or California water districts. So this is a big council right here. These states like, nah, we ain't giving them no water. We ain't going to have no water. The dispute is over whether the government had the legal duty that the tribe can enforce in court. The tribe, which signed a key treaty with the federal government in 1868. Yeah, you you guys never followed any of those treaties, man, that you signed with the tribes. Okay? Argues that under the agreement with the federal government that the... uh, that with the federal government that assured it would have access to land, it was assumed that the government also had a duty to provide necessary water. Now, water's land's supposed to come with water, man. The trees and stuff don't grow if there's not a water source, man. There has to be a creek nearby, a river or something. So they want them to be just in desert places, I guess. The three liberal justices, as well as... As a conservative justice, Neil Gorsuch seemed sympathetic to the tribe's argument. Other conservatives seemed more skeptical. Aldo Byrd asked tough questions about both sides. It says, Gorsuch, who frequently votes in favor of Native Americans, focused on the language in the 1868 treaty that guaranteed the tribe a permanent homeland. (laughs) Yeah, a treaty that guaranteed the tribe a permanent homeland. This was their homeland, man. This wasn't you damn devils that came over here and stole the land that you call America. This wasn't your land. This is this is crazy, man. But it's all a part of the curses, though. You know, Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down. You see? It says, Liberal Justice Elena Kagan questioned the government's argument. That although the treaty does guarantee some water access, there's no way to the tribe for the tribe to vindicate those rights. Yeah, because you guys took everything away from us, man. Now, you guys ain't got nothing to say about it. We stole the land from you and ain't going to give you no water. In the paper. The federal government says the tribe is seeking to reopen already decided cases to that determine how water in the river is allocated. But Barrett seemed to indicate she agrees with the tribe that the lawsuit did not necessarily require that to happen. However, she seems concerned that the litigation could be used to impose additional burdens on the federal government, such as requirement that they build pipelines. Yeah, they don't want to build no pipelines for the Indians. <laughs> they, they do it for anybody else. They let all these Ukrainians come in the country and give them $100 uh, a week. Let all these other uh, people just come in, but when it comes to Mexicans and, and and Latinos and Mexicans and Native Americans trying to sneak in or do this, that, and other, you got to put huge burdens on them. But for Ukrainians and Europeans and, and Chinese people that are trying to sneak in, you're giving them room and house and board. They ain't got to take no juicy juice. So we see we see where your faith we see where you lie at, man. It says Yeah. And that's pretty much I wanted to read something else. It was down here, I think. It says uh Justice Samuel Alto raised the real world impacts of the tribe's claim, questioning that the native negative impact it could have on the water allocated the surrounding states. Yeah, so so they're saying if you guys get some water, then it's going to mean less for us. After you just stole the land from us, man. Anyway, man, that's what these devils do. That's what they do, man. And I had a picture pulled up. 
These are like Native American reservations. List of Indian reservations. Look, all this land used to be Indian land. Now, now it's only just a few. Just a few little spots. You see? A few little bitty spots, man. Look at that. Esau Edom. Fuck you. Esau Edom took over everything, man. And put our people in just little bitty spots and they got to beg for water. You see this shit, man? Little bitty spots, man. Indian reservations in the United States of America. I'm trying to visit it. Yep, May 22, March 22nd, 2000. This is just updated. Somebody else must be thinking about this. This must not even be a real website. See? That's what they got to live like on those reservations. Look at look at how the reservations be looking. It's like an old cracker town, man, where the cowboys used to live. That's how they be looking, man. They ain't got nothing updated. Look 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 at Jake out there, man. Jake out there struggling. Right here in the place Look at that, man. It's a hard life. Look out there. At least they got some sheep and stuff. And... Look, look at that. Stolen land, broken promises. Yeah. Living out there in the ghetto, man. That's how you know they Jake. That's how you know that's Israelites, man. That's how you know that's I those are Israelites, man. That's crazy, man. Just look at these places. Just look like a damn. Just the ghettos, man. You know, that's how they treat us, though, man. They come in and steal the land and, and deny us access to clean water. <laughs> it says the tribe argues that it is not seeking a decision on rights to lower Colorado River specifically. Instead, its lawyers say that the federal government's oversights of the entire Colorado River, as well as its duties to the tribe, mean that it is required to do a full assessment of Navajo Nation's water rights, which may affect how water from the Colorado River is allocated. That, that's all they care. How much is allocated? Let's look up that word allocated. Conserved, pretty much, man. They, they want to conserve the water. You damn devils and already made the Mississippi water, water Mississippi River dry up, Euphrates River drying up, you devils is tearing up the whole world. Allocate, past particle allocated, distribute. Yeah, how, how the water's distributed for a particular purpose. Yeah. So they want to see how it's distributed. Colorado's lawyers said in the state's brief that a ruling for the tribe would cause immediate and long term disruptions to the coordinate management of Colorado River. States point out that 
They are already implementing the 2007 agreement on water shortages as well as the drought contingency plan adapted. And it's like, you guys aren't involved in these plans that we already have. Like, we already have, like, so they're supposed to just have the water on their border and not use the water. Is that, is that what you damn devils are saying? They're supposed to just, the Native Americans supposed to just have the water on their border and not use it, man. It says the Navajo Nation can access water from other sources, including the San Juan River, a tributary of the Colorado River, but the tribe says it's not enough. Many tribal members do not have access to running water and rely on wells and other localized water sources, man. You see, the tribe originally sued the federal government in 2003, seeking access to the main branch of the Lower Colorado River, with the litigation dragging over ever since. So... <laughs> They've been going to court with them since 2003 over some water, man. In separate litigation in the state court, the tribe has fought for access to Little Colorado River, another tributary of the Colorado River. The previous attempt to sell Navajo claims to the Lower Colorado River failed about a decade ago. So they've been trying to fight for access to water for decades, man. This Indian reservation. The biggest Indian reservation in in the United States. You see? So it says Navajo nations have secured rights to the San Juan River, but it's efforts to do the same with the Little Colorado River and the Lower Colorado River is still hanging the balance. So you got these, you got the San Juan River, which is right over their border, right? San Juan River. You got that, but what about back down here? where the little Colorado river is, there's still people down there, you see, but they can't access the water. They can only, they got to come all the way up here to access it from the San Juan river, lower Colorado river. So they can access no water besides they go all the way North. Okay. And that's 50 plus miles, zero to 50. You see that down here, that's 50 plus miles to go from lower uh, Navajo nation up there to San Juan river. Okay. 50 plus miles, that's that's crazy, man. That's a long way. But anyway, man. These devils gotta pay, man. They gotta pay for their crimes. Let's go to this in the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2 and 5 and it says, Yeah, also because I'll start at 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not right in him, but the just shall live by faith. Okay, and this is talking about his soul, Esau, Edom, so-called white man, that stole this land from the Native Americans, man. Yet also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people, man. Yeah, that's what America's filled with, all types of different peoples, man. The people who, who are the poor, you know, the blacks, Latinos, Native Americans who who, who are subjected to uh, oppression and depression and, and, and anxieties and heart attacks and all these things. And then you got the people who are who are the rich, who who, who sit in high places, okay, who, who, who own all the things that Jake uh, considers to be legitimate in this world. You know, the rap industry, the 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 the. The, the the entertainment industry movies as well as music uh videos and all these things the internet and all these things okay and 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 and, and they make us they make us drink of that 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 heavy potion okay everybody wants to be somebody else besides themselves they forget about who the lord is they forget about who their heritage was man okay he oppressed a man in his heritage okay He's accomplished the diligent search. Esau Edom has came in and stole the land, stole us from over there in Africa, brung us over here, contaminated our minds with Christianity and white man Jesus and all this other bullshit, man. Okay? Like it says down here, it says, Woe, Habakkuk 2 and 15, Woe to him that giveth his neighbor drink. Yeah, he gave us that drink. That drink of that man with man and woman with woman and everything's okay. That drink of there's no God, okay? We're just living our YOLO life. You only live once, YOLO. The, that drink of uh, I'm better than you, okay? 
that drink of uh, suicide and, and young children, young children being able to change their sex. That drink of all this nonsense that's going on in the world. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink that putteth thy bottle to him and make of him drunken also, that they may look upon their nakedness. Yeah, they just look at us. They put guns in the hood in Chicago and different places. Then they get on the news and they look at it the next day and like, look, look, look what I just did. Look what I just did. All them people, they killing each other. Put that rap music on the on the on, on the radio and, and talk about killing your brothers so that the young kids that grow up later on in this generation, they can kill their brothers and, and we can be to blame for it, but nobody will ever know, but we'll just be laughing about it. And you go going to the Lord, like, look, Lord, look what they did. Put a liquor store on every single corner. Rebecca two. And eight, and it says, because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Yeah, because you're not going to get away with all your crimes, man. Because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, the violence of the land, man. It's so much blood here in America, the Native American Indians, the so-called black men, so-called Mexican and Latino. So much blood spilled out here. Cops killing us, shooting us down. So much blood spilled out here. All 